Okay, I came here to Helmond and I tell you the car looks fantastic. I cannot show you, but it's really like a yeah, like a smooth Tesla Model S where people can really sit very comfortable. It looks very good from the inside, looks beautiful from the outside, it will turn heads. And it's an amazing upgrade from a student car to a uh, yeah, to a professional car, which is 120,000 euro. So it's an expensive car, but it has a fantastic range. 400 to 800 kilometers, so I-800 is extra, and then it goes from 35 kilowatt hour to 40 uh, to 70 kilowatt hour. It's very efficient. It does uh, 11 um, kilometers on a um, on a kilowatt hour. So, and if, on a good day, it does about 70 kilometers of uh, extra range just because of the sun. So that's really uh, nice. They're going to produce small amounts here. They can produce in this production hall, which has just been created here. Uh, they can produce about um, three, four, five cars a day. And so a total production of, you know, a thousand or something like that. And then they want to go to next to the 10,000 and the 100,000. And they have big plans. They already have 180 people. They have 80 people. They're doing a Series B. And I'm going to just ask the CEO about it, how much he's going to invest. But it really looks like a cool car. Technology is wonderful. They have a thousand watt, 1100 watt peak on top of the car. So that could produce 10,000 kilowatt hours on, on a normal roof. A little bit less because you have a car which is also in a um, in a um, in a parking lot, but uh, it could produce about uh, 10,000 kilometers, eight to 10,000 kilometers a year just because by standing there, and that is really makes it, makes it wonderful. If you drive around Europe, then you can uh, go everywhere. So they don't have mirrors; they have cameras, so that means they cannot use it in um, in the USA. And they have a very smooth interior, which really looks like the Tesla with a big screen and a, a small screen for the driver. And um, they have, they, they, it's turning into a product. So you can buy a car for 4,000 euro um, as a um, first down payment. And then you get a car in 2021. If you want a car in 2019, in one, 2019 you have to pay 119,000 euro now. And then you get the first 100 cars they're going to produce. Okay. I'm I'm going to do an interview with Lef Lex Hoofslow. He's the CEO of Lightyear. And um, he basically just introduced the new, uh, the new design of the car. You can see a little bit of a background here. It's a, a sort of a surprise. It looks really cool. And I'm going to ask him about the company, the product, the financing, and what he's going to do further. So enjoy. Show uh, an amazing, uh, amazing upgrade from the student car to the real production, I think. Looks extremely cool. Cool show, too. Um, how has your journey been going from students to a real company so far? Uh, it's a bumpy road, of course. It's, um, it has been two years now. We founded the company two years ago. Uh, what was very hard is to uh, convince people that it's possible. Uh, yeah. Hello, we are here. We are a student team and we're going to make a real car. Yes, yeah. exactly. And um, trust, trust me. And then, of course, Elon Musk isn't really helping. In one way, he is helping because he showed an example that it's possible to, uh, to build a company from scratch and to build electric cars. But at the same time, he's also showing that it's really hard to do that. Uh, so we have been, uh, well, going out with our story, convincing people that it is possible, yeah. finding the first investment, the first customers, and... Uh, yeah, it's really cool. Last time I saw him, he did a video conferencing with the, uh, the board of the Electric Driving Foundation. It was a bunch of people, uh, we were enthusiastic, and you said what you were going to do. But you raised five million. Yeah. You basically had the first, uh, how many people paid 100,000 uh, euro for a car? Yeah, about 15 people now. Yeah, 15 people, and now you have a fantastic law. And also, this is your building, right? Yeah. This here, what we see here, is the place where the light year is going to be uh, is going to be produced. Yeah, that's, so we are going to assemble the car here. Uh, so most of the production is done at Partners. Uh, the assembly, so also gluing of the different parts together, is done here uh, in a kind of a U form. Um, yeah, I'm really excited for it. So we'll yeah. take about one year and now we'll start producing uh, how many cars can you produce here per day uh, one per day five per day ten per day we're aiming at f about five a day and um, that's quite doable it's it's not uh, the same so Duff is producing 250 trucks every day yeah uh, so that's a whole different operations uh, than then of five course yeah a five a day that is a really uh, but I mean it's already very complicated okay so now let's the basics the product the light year one yeah. uh, what is the range uh, so it's 600 kilometers of real-world 
range, including air conditioning and heating. Yeah. Uh, it's 800 kilometers if you turn on the air conditioning and the, and the yeah. heating. And that's with an 80 kilowatt hour uh, battery, right? Uh, it's a bit less, so it's about, it's between 60 and 80. Yeah. You yeah. do about 11 kilometers on one kilowatt hour, right? I have a Model X. It does about four, and the Model S, the Model S does uh, Model S does five. The Nissan Leaf does seven, and the uh, and the Ionic does eight. And you do 11 kilometers on one kilowatt hour. Yeah, and that's a, that, that's a, uh, so everything we did is to make sure that number goes down. So uh, the aerodynamics, uh, it will probably be the most aerodynamic production car. When yeah, we it's go point two. It's point two compared to point two three of the yeah. Tesla Model S, which is a very very dynamic car. So it's really very aerodynamic. And we try to push it even more. So we'll we'll see where we end up. Uh, and the weight of the car is very important, so we want to be, the weight will be about a half of what a Tesla is. Yeah. Um, Mine is 2,500 uh, kilos, yours is uh, 12, 12, 11? Something in that region, so yeah. we don't know exactly the number yet. But um, And then the efficiency is very important, so being able to have these in-wheel motors. Yeah. Uh, then we have four engines, right? Every, uh, every wheel has an engine. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> and then uh, they can do uh, independent, they've been driven, driven independently. And a great advantage of that is Who's that... Who's your you software guy? That's really complicated software to write. That's true, and we have partners, luckily, to help with that. Who's uh, your partner with uh, that kind of stuff, with uh, motor engineering systems? Uh, so we're partnering with a few German engineering companies, uh, so Avevao and EDAC. Um, and at the same time, on our motors, we cannot disclose who we're partnering with. Okay, with batteries. Who are you doing batteries with? Uh, a few companies as well, um, and we're now in the process of selecting a supplier. So we cannot say about yeah. that anyway, but it's 35 or 70 kilowatt hour depending on how much range uh, you want to have. Okay, it's a 120,000 euro car, so it's not a cheap car. No. And what is the advantage of, uh, of, of having that car? The big advantage is that you really don't know, uh, so the, the energy side of things yeah. is taken care of. So the range is not a problem, you can charge everywhere. Uh, so you, you never have to be kind of anxious about range anxiety. No. Uh, that's, that's the biggest factor. No. No. 400 uh, to 800 kilowatt hours, so that is uh, kilometers. And then during a good solar day, you have about a thousand, more than a thousand watt peak on the, on the roof, yeah. which produces how much kilometers a day uh, in terms of extra range? On a sunny day, you will recharge your commute. Uh, so it will be about, well, it depends on your commute, of course, but uh, it will be about 70 kilometers per day in a, in a sunny day. But in Spain? But in Spain, in the, indeed, it can be even higher. So we yeah. can get to 80. Yeah. It's about 1100 peak, uh, peak watt, yeah. which should produce 1000 kilowatt hour, which should produce much more than 10,000 kilowatt, even in yeah. 10,000 kilometers, even in Holland. Yeah. But you say it's 8,000, you're conservative. Yeah, and the reason why is that we know the cars won't always be in the sun. So the car will be parked under a tree or in a garage. or So we make sure that we, people get the actual number instead of that we promoting something that yeah. won't happen. You can drive anywhere in the world and just, just you have to wait a little bit, but the car will continue driving. Okay, so now uh, you have production partners, design partners. What about financing? You got five, you got a bunch of people buying a car, 15. Yeah. You got five million of initial investment from who was that partner? Uh, that was uh, a Swiss family. A Swiss family, so nice. And now you're doing Series B. Uh, how much are you raising? 25, 30, 35, something like that? Uh, so it's a multiple, uh, so it's between 20, 20 and 30 million. Uh, Series B round, we are already talking with, this, with a few uh, companies uh, and also institutions. Um, and I can already invest in it uh, in a simple way with a loan uh, by at a hundred thousand dollars. I can a hundred thousand euro. I can already invest into into the company. Yes, using a convertible loan from one hundred thousand euros, you can invest in the company quite easily. Uh, so without much uh, much less of a problem. The investment round is yeah. for bigger uh, uh, bigger parties. And um, what's the valuation now? Valuation, I cannot talk exactly, of course, but uh, so that's still a negotiation process. Um, but around 100 or something like that, or 50 or 80, or what, what, uh, what area? It's, uh, I'm going to give a broad range. Yeah, broad, give me a broad range. Yeah. So between 30 and 150. Yeah. 30 and 150. So that's a, nice, uh, that's, a nice, that's a nice thing for two years, right? I mean, oh, yeah. but I mean, hey, but which... We have a lot of, of course, legacy is within... Uh, of course, hey, which year were you? Which year, were, in which team, were, in what team were you? Uh, to, uh, 2013. So I founded the student team together with a friend of mine, the, the solo team Eindhoven. And then in 2014, it was a different team. 
Yeah, that's true. But you were a senior helping out uh, the team. Yes, helping out. It was a lot of fun. Yeah, yeah. So you did that a number of times. How is it now to start a real company and to and to be believable and to play with the real guys? It's uh, uh, in some ways different, but it, in a lot of ways it's 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 the same. Uh, and it's it's still being committed. Uh, it's still. Um, all these people come up with great solutions, building a car. But yeah. what has really changed is uh, the cost factor, of course. So we have to be much more conscious on what things cost and bringing the price. Although it's still an expensive car, of course, it's still hard to make these very technologically advanced yeah. cars for this price. So, uh. Okay, about your vision of the future, okay? You now make a $120,000 car and a little bit more of options. What is the next step? I mean, after you built that thing in 2021, 22, 23, what's happening in 2025? 20, uh, what is the vision? which you have for the longer term? So what we find very important is to be flexible. Uh, so in, we're going to follow what the market will need uh, and apply our very uh, efficient Lightyear platform to that. And that means going to higher volumes, uh, about 100,000 cars a year in 2025. And that will be with production partners. Um, and probably that will also involve things like shared cars. Um, so we can also yeah, share all of these super efficient cars with a lot of people at the same time. So for us, the most important thing is getting the cost down. Yeah. Okay. Thank you very much.